Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live in Jan's, at Jan's house in the backyard in this enchanted forest right now with Lee Nash. Lee Nash, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Stephen, you guys Stephen sound Wilson tremendous. Jr., yeah, husband. Stephen Wilson Jr. Thank you, man. Yeah. 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 Nah. So uh, we're about to do four songs. There's one of the probably most recognizable songs in the world, and there's three from uh, The Tide, Volume 1, the current EP. What do you feel like doing first today? Uh, I feel, I think we feel like doing Made for This. It's a, it's a duet between Steven, who's my husband, and I, and uh, we fight a good bit. <laughs> um, but we're working on it, and that's what this song is about. It's called yeah. Made for This. said I want to be right but I should have listened should have said the words should have staring at the walls where they were written a thousand times before well, we're not made for this we could cash in our chairs but if we stay Thank you, Stephen. 
You're All welcome. right. Thank you, Lee. That sounds great. Thank you for sharing your music with us and the cicadas and everything. This oh, isn't is, it uh, wonderful? Yeah, it's man. My favorite really nice sound. night. Thank you for uh, for enhancing everything that's going on back here. We really appreciate it. Um, can we talk about songwriting and yes. how your approach to it has shifted and evolved uh, um, from a long time? You've been doing this since the early 90s. Is that the truth? Yes, that is the truth. Yeah, the until truth. until right now and the, just the ways that it has evolved, particularly on the current EP. Yeah, I, I, I would attribute that to just growing up as a human and just becoming a, a, a more, um, just a deeper well, hopefully, and I pray that continues until God takes me and I can keep telling stories and uh, doing weird stuff <laughs> and <laughs> hanging out with weird people. It's my favorite. Well, jackpot here. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm super happy. <laughs> Man, so I know that um, the, El the Elton John cover, your song, is on uh, is included. Yes. Were you able, when you're diving in and recording it and understanding, really understanding the mechanics of that song more than most people do, were you mm -hmm. able to take any cues from Elton or from Bernie Toppin in terms of the way that's constructed and apply it to what you do? I mean, a uh, hundred percent. And I was so surprised by that because um, I've heard that song like we all have a million times in our lives but yeah you get really intimate with it when you start to sing it and then I got to uh, sing it with Raul Malo who's one of my favorite singers of all time and so it was incredibly special because I got to understand the lyrics better and that bond between Bernie Taupin and Elton John and how sweet and innocent there's just such an innocence about it um, and I'm just yeah I'm just really thankful I got to sing that with one of my vocal heroes we're not going to do that tonight but um, all you guys download it or do whatever, Spotify <laughs> it or Apple it. Find it, rally. find it somehow. A, Apple, Apple it, Apple it, Apple it. Apple it. <laughs> yeah. Do you get paid better when people Apple it? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay, Apple it then. Definitely do that. I don't that. know. <laughs> I think iTunes, Apple it, Spotify yeah. it. Yeah, man, well, thank I need to stop saying Apple it. I'm sorry. I know no. better. I, now it's just something I can't stop doing. All right, <laughs> Man, well, thank you for sharing your music with us. There's still a lot more of it coming up. Yep. Do you feel like doing another one from the EP next? Yes, sir, if All you right. don't mind. Um, let's do, what are you tuned for? Uh, ne never Again, Every Time? Yeah, that work? okay. This is Never Again, Every Time. Just about regret getting a little uh, tipsy or maybe even blackout drunk and um, texting someone when you really, really wish that you hadn't. And you say you're not going to do it again, but then you do it again like the next day. Hopefully not. It's a shame spiral. <laughs> but Stephen and I wrote this one together, and it's a it's a duet with Tanya Tucker on the record. And um, something I, I'm just never going to believe that that actually happened. So here we go. My hands were trembling when I made that call But you wouldn't answer so I wrote your number on a bathroom stall I woke up with a brand new stranger in my bed But I said get lost just like I did lose memories in my head Keep trying to move on, but I don't know how to. I probably had too much wine. I must have been out of my mind. Never again. I try to spin my wheels with someone new But it's so predictable I always run into you Then there I am again across the floor Trying to catch your eye Make you see me like you did Never again, every time.
never again Every time Never again Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, that is uh, a problem that I cannot relate to at all. Uh, not be <laughs> not because I've never gotten tipsy. And we're in the middle of it right now, so I'll drink to that. But right. I threw my phone away three years ago. I do not own a telephone. Are you serious? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty I proud of that. that so much. I never Good never do you. the blackout texting. But cheers to you guys, man. You're, Thank you're, you. You're encouraging this one. I think he's about two two days away from throwing that phone in a river. Steve and I highly encourage you to chuck it and never think about it ever again for the rest yeah. of your life. It has opened up a lot of mental bandwidth for me. Really? Yeah. yeah. Right. I bet. Yeah. I'm in. Um, I'm in. Man, so you had mentioned a couple, I mean, Tanya, obviously, and there's so many guests on this. My notes tell me Ruby Amonfu, CC Winans, but I know there were a ton more. Those were just the only two that I wrote down. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about some of the incredible artists that you were able to collaborate with on this one? Yes. Um, well, my husband is one of them as we just displayed Stephen Wilson Jr., Tanya Tucker, Ruby Amonfu, Cece Winans, Ro Malo, uh, Vince Gill. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, you know it's a killer list when Vince Gill is, is, is number I mean, I five just, on it. I, there were there were none of them I didn't cry about. Yeah. Well, except him. Like, that was a different kind of cry. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote this song because we fight so much. But um, but if it helps other couples, I think it does. It's a sweet song. So yeah, yeah. It's it, it's really uh, it's a dream come true kind of project. And um, yeah, it's it's made me during the pandemic. I I kind of toyed around with just stopping all together and just you know Steven's really busy as a songwriter and artist and I thought well my son's gonna graduate this year maybe I should just hunker down and not do anything because it's a pandemic anyway and then all these all this inspiration kind of started blowing around buzzing around my head and got a few songs and and now look at us yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we're here in the disco forest together, having a wonderful time. This thank is a you disco again. forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a great time, and uh, and thank you, audience, for being here. Also, this is fun yeah. to have a little bit of what energy exchange audience. going on thank here. Um, and what is what's coming up third today? Is it another one from the EP, uh, The Tide, Volume One? I suppose so. I suppose we'll do um, one called God Gave Me Horses, and on the the um, on the Tide Volume One. Vince Gill is accompanying me on vocals and playing the guitar beautifully. It sounded like I said guitar. I didn't. I said I meant guitar. <laughs> uh, but guitar. He, yeah, yeah. No. Sorry. He did a great so have job. Ever, have you seen the Wood Brothers play ever? Oh yeah. You know John O. Ricks plays the shitar. You seen that thing? That's what it says on the headstock what of is it. That like the made percussion of? instrument. It's like a bunch of literal bells and whistles tied onto the thing with a bunch of pickups. It's like a drum, but it's an acoustic guitar. I'm, I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna need one for yeah. Christmas. There is only one. Oh, yeah. really? I think he painted that on the headstock. I think. Um, I might be spreading fake news, but I'm pretty sure that's true. I'll go ahead and make myself one for Christmas. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a shit tar. Okay. <laughs> All right, yes, this is God Gave Me Horses. I don't know what else to say. It's a true story. I met a guy that was in prison but was uh, able to work with horses uh, due to, you know, being ha being on good behavior from the prison. And so it was a nice break for him. And he came out of the barn, and my friend and I were looking at these beautiful horses and started talking to us. And I'm sure it was a nice escape for him to talk to people that aren't in prison. <laughs> and um, he did. He talked our ear off about why he was there and what it was like and and all the stuff and um so by the time we got back to my friend's car i had a little bit of it written already and then um i waited for the right person i think i found her this woman connie harrington she's a great songwriter and uh we finished it together so here it is He said, I've been locked up 14 months 
on misdemeanor charges. I got clean in county jail, but the loneliest, the hardest, as long as I'm on good behavior, they let me work these stables. I never prayed a day in my life, but now I'm finally able. Sometimes you don't know what you need until you get it. And I didn't know what to ask for, so I didn't. I'd just brush them and I'd feed them. And the holes in my arms started healing. Oh, it's like they knew what I was feeling. The state gave me 18 months. But God gave me horses. He said, it's funny how here I thought I was taking care of them. They know my voice come way. I'd driven by a million times, but I stopped today. I leaned against that fence to clear my head. When a stranger in his prison blues handed me the rain. Sometimes you don't know what you need until you get it. And I didn't know what to ask for, so I didn't. I'd just brush them and I'd feed them. And the holes in my arms started healing. Oh, it's like they knew what I was feeling. They gave me 18 months, but God gave me horses. God gave me horses. Thank you. Thank right. you. Yeah, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Stephen. Um, so we've just we've been hearing songs off of the Tide Volume One, which That's implies likely that a Volume Two is coming out. Um, and I know that I mean the, the Tide Volume One is brand new, and so it might be weird to talk about new music because that is very much the new music. Where are you at in the process of Volume Two, if indeed there will be a Volume Two? And uh, yeah, I don't know how much of this info is public or whatever, but any, yeah. however much you uh, feel like sharing with oh, us. Oh, absolutely, Lord willing. I mean, who knows these days what's actually going to happen? But yeah, there's going to be a Volume Two, and I'm super excited. I have a lot of songs. We were kind of talking about this last night. I have a lot, um, but I also I'm getting new inspiration all the time just as we all go about our lives I've got like I said I've got a a senior in high school that'll be you know graduating this year and so who knows what'll come out um on the the second well on volume two I'm an idiot (laughs) 
Well, I mean, at least you Nothing's named the first one Volume 1 and didn't start with Volume 2 like the Wilbury, Traveling Wilbury. Why didn't did. we do that? <laughs> yeah, and start then have everybody tearing twos. their hair out and searching for Volume 1. Yeah, man. Um, um, do you know... Yes. I mean, this might be too inside baseball, so just stop me if it That's is. Okay. But so Butch, uh, Butch produced number one. Do you have any idea if that's going to continue, or is that still too far ahead? I would ahead love in the it. I think we'll definitely keep him. I mean, I always would would want to work with Butch if he's available and it's the right the right song, and he wanted to do it. We really loved working with him. For sure, he did uh, Made for This and Never Again Every Time, and um, he's he's incredible, such a sweet human. Um, so yeah, I'd love to work with him again. Um, yeah. Cool. It's fantastic. Cool. Great. Well, thank you for the brand new music. We're about to dive into the, the yeah, all-time. Sorry about that. Fa- what? Wait, what? <laughs> sorry about what? I'll look over at the end. Y'all are going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not no, again. my bedtime is 9 p.m. tonight. There's no chance that I'm staying up until 9.03. Okay, perfect. But I'm very alert and very happy right now, thank and that you. was not the case at 658 and then you started playing and now i feel great so okay, you fixed good. me i feel right. wonderful <laughs> okay good yeah um can you tell us what's coming up last today yes this is called kiss me so i'll be dancing with the one who brung me uh this is why i've gotten to keep having a career all these years and um it's hard in music you know to stay standing up i think stay stay standing is my I mean, best it's hard advice just physically to, just to remain literally standing stay sometimes. standing yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, this has helped me to do that and been such a gift. And uh, it's the sweetest song. Speaking of innocent songs, um, this is called Kiss Me. And it's very sweet. And you hear it in the grocery store probably way too much. But I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having us. This has been delightful. Thank you, Jan. Your house is spectacular. And thank you, Stephen. You're welcome. Wilson Jr. Ready? Kiss me out of the bearded barley nightly Beside the green, green grass Swing, swing, swing the spinning step You wear those shoes and I will wear that dress Oh, kiss me beneath the milky twilight Lead me out on the moonlit floor Drag up the band and make the fireflies dance Silver moon sparkling So kiss me Kiss me Down by the broken tree I'll swing me Up on its hanging tire Bring, bring, bring your flowered hat We'll take the trail marked on your father's map So kiss me beneath the milky twilight Lead me out on the moonlit floor Lift your open hand Strike up the band and make the fireflies dance Silver moon sparkling so kiss me, la la la, 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 la So. Kiss me beneath the milky twilight. Lead me out on the moonlit floor. Lift your open head. Strike up the band and make the fireflies dance. Silver moon sparkling. So kiss me. me 
Stephen, this is a Thank total you. pleasure to have you here, and um, best of continued luck on the Tide Volume 1. We'll stay tuned for when details about Volume 2 are available, and we'll be on the road. And I mean, hopefully, we'll see what happens, but uh, we'll continue doing this. I know you'll continue doing what you do as well, so we'll see you, uh, we'll see you in you know a year sounds when it's good somewhere weird in some enchanted forest somewhere sounds else wonderful I thank you guys so much thanks cool. for having